Yo, before we get started with today's video, I just want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing on the channel the past couple weeks. We just hit 600 subscribers and gained over 100 subscribers in less than one month. That is actually insane. Like, I'm literally mind blown. Like, I literally can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown. And if you're new to the channel and end up enjoying the video, consider hitting that subscribe button as we are on the road to 700 subscribers. I know it's a long ways away, but I believe we can do it. With that being said, let's get right into the video. If you're a basketball fan, you have to appreciate what Steph Curry's doing right now. He's been on an absolute tear the past couple games, and in the midst of this, he also passed Wilt Chamberlain to become the Warriors' all-time leading scorer with 17,989 points. Over his last 11 games, he's been going ballistic, averaging 40 points a game while shooting 54% from the field and 50% from three. Those are absolutely ridiculous numbers. Now, while those numbers are absolutely ridiculous in themselves, something even crazier is that he's also managed to hit a total of 78 three-pointers. Most people don't even end up hitting 78 threes in a season, and then here's Steph Curry doing it in 11 games. Like, he's ridiculous. The only logical explanation for this is that Steph Curry turned the game to rookie difficulty and maxed out the sliders. And honestly, in my opinion, right now, Steph should be no lower than third in MVP voting, but for some reason, on most MVP ladders, he is nowhere to be found. Literally, I'm going to read you this ladder off NBA.com and you can go check it for yourself. And as of April 21st, they have Nikola Jokic at number one, Joel Embiid at number two, Luka at number three, Giannis at number four, and Damian Lillard at number five. I can name two players right now off the top of my head that should be on this ladder that aren't, and that's Chris Paul and obviously Steph Curry. Now, CP3 changed the whole culture in Phoenix, and now the Suns are actually a championship caliber team, and for some reason, he's not even on there. Now, I actually have a video on this exact topic on why Chris Paul should be considered for MVP, so if you guys want, go ahead and check that one right after this video. Now, Steph Curry's case is a whole different story. Literally, when Steph Curry doesn't play in a game, the Warriors look like a G League team. Don't believe me? When Steph Curry missed a game versus the Toronto Raptors, they ended up losing 130 to 77, which is a 53 point blowout. But just two games after this blowout, Steph Curry returned to the lineup and the Warriors had a matchup against the Milwaukee Bucks and guess what happened? Believe it or not, they actually won that game. The same team that without Steph Curry got blown out by 53 points by the Raptors somehow ends up beating the Bucks. And you wanna know why? Well, I mean, the answer is pretty obvious. A man named Andrew Wiggins exploded for nine points and literally put this team on his back. Nah, I'm joking. The real reason is that Steph Curry got in his bag and dropped 41 points against one of the best defensive teams in the league. But if Steph Curry would have sat out of this game, I guarantee, guarantee, they would have gotten blown out by 35 to 40 points, no doubt in my mind. And remember, Steph Curry is nowhere to be found on any of these MVP ladders, but clearly he's proven to be pretty valuable to this team because without him, they lose by 53 points. I just want to throw a couple more stats out there too. This season, in games when Steph Curry does not play, the Warriors have a total record of 1-6. Now, I'm not shocked about this, and I'm sure you guys aren't either, because when your next two best players are Draymond Green and Andrew Wiggins, you are going to have these kind of problems. Now, unlike most people, I actually like Draymond Green a lot, and I think he is criminally underrated, but when he is your best player on the court, that is a major problem. But next year, when this team gets Klay Thompson back and James Wiseman returns, and hopefully they're on the court at the same time, I think this team will be a top three to four team in the West again. But for this year, that's just not going to be the case as both Klay Thompson and James Wiseman won't play for the remainder of the season. And the sad part about this current team right now without Klay Thompson, without James Wiseman, is they are going to be mediocre unless Steph Curry continues to play the way he's been playing the past couple of games. This team honestly has no right to even be in the playoff conversation right now, but somehow when Steph Curry is on the floor with this exact team, they have a chance to win every single night. Honestly, they might even sneak into the playoffs as currently they sit at the 9 seed only one game behind the 8 seed Grizzlies. If the season ended today, they would actually qualify for a play-in game, and the way Steph Curry's been playing right now, I would actually give them a pretty realistic chance to win. And to go back to the MVP voting, I just don't understand how it works. Let's be real, LeBron should be a 7-8 to eight time MVP right now, but since the award is so narrative-driven, he's not. Hopefully Steph Curry gets the respect he deserves because he's literally carrying a G League team right now, and Steph Curry, in my opinion, should be third on the MVP ladder right behind Jokic and Embiid. But, unfortunately, what I say honestly carries no weight and ultimately does not matter. If you guys aren't watching the Golden State Warriors play basketball right now, well, you guys are missing out. If you love watching basketball, you need to tune in because you guys will not be disappointed. Even if you don't like Steph or you don't like the Warriors, like, trust me, you guys will want to watch these games. 
Now that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button. I post NFL and NBA content, so if you guys are fans of the NBA or the NFL, this is the perfect channel for you. Like I said earlier, the support you guys have been showing on the videos the past couple weeks have been absolutely insane, and I appreciate every single one of you. Also, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below where you guys have Steph Curry ranked on the MVP ladder and why. I love hearing your guys' opinions, and I'll make sure to try to respond to every single one of your guys' comments, so make sure to go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. But that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Mythic. Peace out.